Welcome, Welcome back. back. <laughs> Welcome to our next episode. We are still travelling north. Mm. We left you on our last episode at Alice Springs. Um, so we will be heading up. I don't know how far we'll take you this time. Mataranka, Catherine, something like that. Yep. But we'll show you what there is to see along the way. So come for the drive. Come with us. Just getting a splash of fuel at the Aileron Roadhouse. We've got male and a female lizard here. So this is a beautiful artwork, which is in Aileron. So it's a, only a short detour off the highway. An Aboriginal woman and her child with a lizard. It's um, a really impressive structure. So she's actually looking out to her husband over there on the hill. We're camping here at the Barrow Creek World War II site. Um, I'm jiggling around a bit because the ants are phenomenal. I've put some timber on that fire but I can't get close enough to load it up anymore because they're just going crazy, these ants. But look, it is a beautiful view, isn't it? A beautiful sunset. If only I could keep my feet still. Hey, Glenn. I'll spin around and I'll show you Barrow Creek. It's a lovely big area. There's probably a dozen or so vans here. This concrete here is the old mess hall that we're camped on. And down here is the creek. Tonight's entertainment is watching Vicky dodge the ants. Just so she can get out. Oh, look at all that. Well, that's good stuff. Is there white ants in there? I don't know. Oh, but hopefully they stay over here. That's amazing. So about 100 k's north from our campground at Barrow Creek, we've stopped into the Devil's Marbles. Your national park pass is needed for here as well. Um, these are amazing. We'll take a little walk and show you some more. Another 150 k's up the road or something. Welcome to uh, welcome to something, which is <laughs> Tennant Creek. June 1860, and John McDougall Stewart came across three hostile natives. They were met by three tall, powerful, fully armed Warramungal men. We had never seen a white man dressed in strange clothing and riding horses before. Not too sure about the story for this one. A mounted constable died in his performing his duty. Our next stop up the Sturt Highway is Banker Bank Station. Now look at that green grass. 
it's really nice to find green grass when there's just dust everywhere, especially considering we had overnight rain. Now don't be deceived by all these vacant spaces because this is the next morning. We're staying two nights, so most people have left. It was packed in here. It's a very popular place. You can see here how it's rained overnight. This is the little museum at Banker Banker Station. Some bits and bobs that they've collected over the years. So at Banker Banker Station they have a um, communal happy hour and usually a campfire but we've had rain all day <laughs> in the outback makes mud um, but we're going to go over for a drink anyway. So we've come over to the bar at Banker Banker yep. and I've got my little bottle of bubbles mud hut. with a paper cup. <laughs> we're in the mud hut. We're in the mud hut. Yeah, we're going to have a chat with some other travellers. It's a shame we didn't get to show you much around Banker Banker. We've been here for two days and it hasn't stopped raining. Leaving this morning and it's starting to thin out, which is a shame. But um, there's a few walks around here, one down to the spring. And if you go up past the camp kitchen there, up here to the lookout called Sunset Hill up there, Hello, here we're going to get fuel. Yeah, are you talking over there too? Is this your fuel station? So this is about the time on the Stewart Highway when most people would stop at Daily Waters Inn, a bit of a famous pub, an iconic pub. Um, we're not going to do that this time, um, although if you haven't done it, You've, it's worthwhile doing. You've got yeah. to see it. We've just done it a few times. Um, it's a crazy place, <laughs> like a lot of things in the outback. Um, got live entertainment every night, um, big campground out the back. It gets really busy. Um, you can leave stuff there. Like, I've left my bra there, so I challenge someone to go and find it. I'll put a picture up, if I can find one, of um, when I put it on the wall. Um, but we've stayed at the Highway Inn. We like to share the love. Given that the Daily Waters we've done a few times. Highway Inn was another good stop though, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it shady, nice grassy, site. grassy sites with a pool and a nice pub feed. Our next stop is in the town of Larimer at the Pink Panther Hotel. It's a quirky place. We'll take you for a walk. Flying Pink Panthers. Pink spring tap, a compressed vehicle, and the caravan park is a good day park. And it's quirky. We love that sort of thing. There's a lot of World War II history around here. And there's a museum here at Larimer too. World War II historic site. I don't know what these things would be. Radial engines out of aeroplanes, think. Radial engine. Yep. Out of an aeroplane. Because yep, the pistons went around the outside and the crank crankshaft was in the centre. A signal repeater station. It's a big impressive unit, isn't it? Larimer has more than just a pub. It used to be a, a train line all the way to Darwin. This museum in Larimer has an awful lot of reading. Very interesting. You could spend an hour or more here learning about the history of the area. About to start out the back there. 
for being a knight. Cheers! Thanks, thanks, thanks. Look what Glenn discovered in the yard of Larimer Pub below some trees. It's a bower's nest. He was lucky enough to see the bower too. I'll put a photo up for you. He's been very busy. Slow down for the eagles, they're slow. Just a little bit north of Larimer there is a World War II airstrip that you can camp on. So we're going to have a look. You've got to get through this gate. This is the track in. There's a fair bit of bull dust there. Just, Glenn's decided just to put the drone up to see the airfield. Here comes a van on its way out. So they had a good night camping on the airstrip. It's too early in the day for us now to stay, but um, we'll get some vision from the drone for you. So our next camp is in Madaranka. It's a farm stay called Little Roper Stock Camp. We've stayed here before. It's a great place and we're gonna love showing it to you. Lots of farm animals here. We got a snorty pig, two snorty pigs. Rooster. <laughs> That's a pig noise. And we've got buffaloes over the back there. Give me a smile. Show oh, that's lovely. Show me your teeth. We're going in for a reptile show. So there's, they've got dozens of these little baby turtles. There's kids everywhere with baby turtles. But I, as an adult, had to ask if I was allowed to hold one. <laughs> here he is, here comes his head. Zarin, look at his little head. No, Who did you get? Parrot. Uh, parrot. Uh, parrot. The python. There's kids and snakes going everywhere down that other end. <laughs> Kids have been told to stretch out this snake to see how long it is. They're not scared. So this campground here is chock-a-block with kids and travelling families. And you can't blame them. With all these animals and activities, you know, hand-holding snakes every day, it's a great spot for the family and the kids. All right, he's just rung the cowbell, which means they're gonna feed the sugar gliders. So here we are, it's all lit up. I thought they did it after dark. There's people everywhere in there. I hope we get some vision for you. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at him. And we're allowed to use flash. We've been told that's okay. These guys don't mind it, so. Oh, wow. Hello. Instead of patting them too much, you got to give them a few worms. Give them some worms. Oh. Can we feed Hello. Them He's the found something good. Oh, little kid. 
Nom 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 I got another one. They are so cute. I would love to see you in the wild. You are a beautiful creature. So this is the first spring that we've come to here in Madaranka. Got our noodles and we're ready to go for a float down the river at Bitter Springs. We just love this place. So this is a viewing platform before you actually get to the area where you jump in down a bit further. Now it's usually pretty busy down here, lots of tourists. And um, to be honest, we're always a little bit hesitant on our first float because we're not strong swimmers. But once we've done it once, we can't stop. We've got to keep going back and back. There's Vicky. Yeah, just floating. Look at those water lilies. They're beautiful. These guys. Aren't they pretty? That was so beautiful. It was just great. Can we do it again, Glenn? Can we do it again? <laughs> if you wish, dear. If you wish. <laughs> Botanic walk. Just a little walk in the Elsie National Park. We might um, go on a bird hunt. It's a tiny little castle of termite mounds. Madat Ranka is um, where you see the termite mounds getting larger going north. So this is one of them here. Madaranka, taller than me. Taller than me. Oh, I've hit a tree. Where'd you go? There it is. <laughs> Taller than me. It's a nice shady walk with lots of butterflies flitting around. So this is where we cross over the creek. We could get wet feet. More butterflies. Oh, and spiders. Yeah, look at them all. Wow, look at them all. Oh, they go for a run. They don't like us looking at them. This one, is that one different or is it just the back side of it? You might just be looking at the back of it. The sweet water lily. You may find me in the river, but my seeds are considered a delicacy. So this is the other hot spring in Mataranka. Mataranka Hot Springs. Um, they're both very different to each other. So people seem to either like one or the other. So this one's in the grounds of the Mataranka Homestead Caravan Park. And it is more of a swimming pool type hot spring. So in our opinion, we like, um, we like Bitter Springs much better. It's more natural, um, but a lot of people like this because they think it's cleaner. So it's a, just a short walk down this path here at the back of the Matarenka Homestead camping ground. So this one's the Mataranka Springs. 
it is like a swimming pool but it's also set like it's in the rainforest just go around this garden here so um it's nature in a formed pool if you can put it that way This is something that happens every morning here. Um, they make Johnny cakes on the fire for two dollars each, free tea and coffee. Here we are, here's Johnny cakes cooking. They're kind of like between a scone and a pancake or a muffin. More a donut. Or more of a donut with syrup. My favourite is a golden syrup. <laughs> Busy making more Johnny cakes. And they bake fresh bread too. I've ordered mine. There's mine, Vicky B. So now we've got to choose what topping we want. Plum. Apricot. Vegemite. Rosies. Yeah. Yeah, I like rosies. Um, although I do like Vegemite. We might have a day off from Vegemite. You don't want honey. Rosies. Chomping, chomping, chomping away. They're like a muffin. They're really tasty, aren't they? Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> In the park in Mataranka, there's all sorts of statues um, in regards to we of the Never Never. Here we've got the little black princess. Who would this be over here? Jeannie and, a and Anais Gunn. You guys might have seen the story, you might know what it's all about. There you go, the sign answers the question. Jeannie is the author of the novel We of the Never Never about Elsie Station in the 1890s. Here they are, a couple of brolgers going for a stroll in the park. We've been out for a drive, um, but we pre-ordered pizzas from the caravan park. So it's like drive-through. Pizza delivery. Pizza delivery. Yeah, the person that's here, you're Okay, this is pizza, little roper. Pizza. Yum, two of them. And it's got their buffalo on it. So they're buffalo from the farm. Here we go, welcome to Matarenka. That there was me sexy crack. I got a couple of laughs. Blank looks. The most favourite world record, the one I've actually broken uh, three times now, is the most whip cracks with two whips in one minute at 600, 697 cracks in a minute. 697 cracks in a minute, you're looking at it right here, one of the fastest whip cracks in history. And you know what's better than that? An American, a Yankee, I'll all three of the records before I didn't report them back to Australia. How about that, eh? Yeah. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Aussie! Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Tell you what, there will be blood if you move, so do not move.
Well, that just about wraps up another episode. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. Mm. We've had a great time. Please like and subscribe. That would be awesome, and we will see you on our next episode. Going see north. You then. <laughs>